No fish Nick here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a replacement cover on my Truxedo Low Pro Tonneau cover. So um, I figured I'd make a little video to help someone else that might have to uh, do this. Now this uh, this tonneau cover is over 10 years old and uh, what happened is the Velcro stitching here started undoing. Like My truck sits outside. Um, I've never garaged it. So, and years of sun and uh, car washes and stuff, uh, the stitching popped through. Like I said, this is, I bought it used from a guy that bought a, a topper. Um, he sold me this used, so it's probably over 10 years old. And uh, it's always worked really good for me. You can roll it right up and it goes right there. But anyway, it's time to replace it. I called the company. They sent me a new, uh, just cover that I got to replace it. Over here, I have it laid out. I have the new one laid out on some carpet, so try not to scratch it up on the concrete. And uh, I'm gonna replace it, and I'm gonna have you guys join me. Step one, I'm gonna roll, roll up the old one. Okay, now, um, I already did loosen this. Lo I loosened these uh, a couple minutes ago. That's not on camera. So, um, this thing's really easy to pop off. You roll it up like this. It's got two latches. You just, they're spring-loaded. You just give it a good pull. Give it a good pull on this side. You might have to wiggle it a little. And it pops off. Okay, that's step one. Getting the old one off. Okay, step two is going to be laying, unrolling this one upside down. Which is going to require it to go like this. I had to unroll it upside down. Okay. And make sure you have it in the right direction. You got these straps. They go on this side. And the, the header end. So the cab of the truck goes on that end. So I have them laid out correctly. And I did read the instructions that came with it, which says you need a flat tip screwdriver. And we just uh, gently undo these little caps. We'll set that there. You don't, you can leave this stuff right in, but it does slide out. If it does slide out, no big deal. It slides right back in. Here's a little uh, gasket. It's pretty dirty. It's been on there quite a while. So I might just slide this out for now to get it out of the way. So we'll get that out of the way. And here's the tricky part. We gotta slide the whole cover out of this slot. Oh, it's coming easy. So that's that's a good thing. It's gonna slide right out. And now look at uh, okay. I'm just gonna slide that out. There we go. Let's see. The cover itself is just inside the slot right here. Okay. Oop, this side's end cover came off while I was doing it. Put that back in. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, slide it into that side on the new one. I'm going to bring this cap down to that end. Step where the carpet is. Oh, I, like I said, I laid down some carpet so I can uh, not scratch up my new cover. All right. Now this is the new one. I'm gonna want to bring it over and slide it in, just like that. Look at that! How easy. Yeah, pretty simple here. 
slide that bad boy in there. Okay. Okay, we'll center it out. Get that, uh, put that gasket back in. And that's just on a track, a track system also. Okay, so that's in. We'll put the end cap on. And we'll be done with step two here shortly. Once the end cap's back on. Check about a half inch on that side. Okay, I gotta push it that way. I'm gonna want about a quarter inch on each side. There's that. All right, there you go. Step two is done. Okay, step three is going to be pretty simple. Just take the Velcro bars off and move them over to the new one. Try to get them nice and centered. Let's see. Nope. Right about there. Okay. Uh, I got to do one more bar, but it's just going to be the same deal. So that's step three. And now uh, I got to do the this end, uh, the bumper end is going to be pretty much the same as the front, where we got to remove these uh, end caps, or at least one of them. Actually, um, I think I'm. I'm gonna leave this this end in, and I'm gonna take off this end. Oh, I am gonna have to. Well, no, I can slide it down. I can slide it down. I'll take this end off. Okay. That's how that comes out. And that'll be going to that end over there. Got that rubber gasket. Let's slide that across, so don't forget that. And this should just slide right out. Oh. Undo these little slides. I am going to have to take this end off. that little slider slides in there they did send me some new little these little plastic arrow looking deals so I do have a set of new ones I can replace that with uh, I will get those right now okay this is the new they sent me some new uh, little arrow gadgets that slide in the track so I'm gonna go over to the brand new one here them in the same way they came out which was arrow to the inside just like that we'll go back to sliding the actual header out is I'll move over to the good the brand new one 
reinstall. And I folded it up towards me to get it into that track. And there it goes. Really simple. Slide it on down. And then just center it. There we go. Cool. Slide the gasket back in. Okay. Center everything up. All the end cap and uh, step four will be done. Oh, okay. I remember to do this part. arrows in there. I'm going to take this end cap back off. There. There. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're done with step four. Once I put this cap back on and center it. Okay, step five is going to be put in back on the truck. And I'm going to roll it up just like how I took it off, which is going to be backwards like that. Okay. And this guy goes on just, just like how it took came off, although this actually folds down under. And you'll know that by look for this, uh, this little wear mark from where your tensioners hit. So you want to make sure you put the wear mark back to where the tensioner is. So you fold it under like that. Oh, okay. And you'll notice I have it upside down. So I'm gonna flip it. There. Okay, that's gonna be the right way. And like I said, we got the, uh, the little spot here. So I'm going to fold that down like that, and, and that's how it's going to go in. Spring loaded slides wind up going like that. Slide back, set it in there, and slide it back in. And go underneath and look. Make sure everything is good. All right. That's in there. I am going to have to adjust the tensioners. When I'm all done here. It's locked in. And then uh, we'll adjust these tensioners. Make sure the bars are up and on the tracks. Looks like I'm going to have to do some adjusting though. So I did screw those screws in too tight because now I don't have enough slack. Okay, I, uh, I pretty much centered the tensioners. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try that. Give it a whirl. Like I said, there's gonna be some adjusting going on. Okay, there we go. It locked into place. And we'll start doing. Okay, looks pretty good. That'll work. Nice brand new fabric.
pull it over and lock it down. Okay, looks good. Sweet, brand new top, tonneau cover. Now, I was not the original owner. They do warranty uh, like tops for a lifetime of the original owner. I was not, so I did have to uh, pay. Um, with shipping, it was like 150 bucks for replace the top. So, all set.